And as far as I know, there are still no proof of harmonic functions, no elementary proof that will explain you why this is true. However, there is a theorem of Sasha Logunov that is published this year that tells that the Dirichlet conjecture is true. Moreover, it holds for all elliptic PDs. I think it started with smooth coefficients in, in the work. So if you have an elliptic operator, say in the unit twice the unit ball, and then there is a constant depending on the operator such that any solution that vanishes at the zero point satisfies that the length or area or d dimensional Hausdorff measure to be precise of the function is at least constant. This theorem will give you the low estimate in the Yau conjecture. The theorem implies that the low estimate in the Yau conjecture holds. We would not be able to, to prove this in this four lectures or even go close to it. But we'll be able to look at some ideas that are relevant and useful in, in, in the proof, but only in the simple versions of the ideas that are useful there. So I think it's a good point to stop the first lecture here. I don't know if there are any questions or okay. comments. Yeah. What, what actually happens is that you then you'll get other zeros here. You can make this one quite narrow, but it will result that there are other zeros coming from your harmonic function. I think that this is not true for one component of your zero set, but there are other zero sets that are, are there. I, d I don't think so. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't have any intuition. F I think all the intuition ruins when you don't have Lipschitz coefficients f for, for me. Uh, so. It's a very nice question, but I, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I might know a partial answer, but maybe update me in others. So in the random case, um, what is, is it known what's typical in any dimension? Do you have with probability one for any distribution of AJs any reasonable results, beliefs, expectations? It's, uh, it's difficult to think because on the sphere, on the torus, we are in a special situation because our eigenfunctions have large multiplicity. And then you can talk about random eigen yeah. eigenfunctions because of that. Yeah, but I'm saying on the sphere, for random eigenfunctions on the sphere. But for, on, the, on the sphere, you, you, know, you know that. For on this level, you know that on, on the sphere for, for each one. You don't know for how long is the noodle, right? Yeah, you know, you know you that. You don't know how many components. You don't know how many components. You know, you, there are other questions about uh, Locally, what is the structure there? But but the in Yao hypothesis on the sphere, everything is known due to Don Donald and Pfefferman. Yeah, but there are other questions about ra random things that are different. Uh, I think there is a question. Yeah. 
are there estimates? Probably they're not sure. Are there estimates for the cost of CD, or is it just an existence of the cost? Of I don't think there are nice estimates for the constant. I think there is ex existence for, for this one, but I, I'm not sure. So, I'm sorry, Mr. Are you saying that this is true for any uniform elliptic operator or just with Lipschitz coefficients? With Lipschitz coefficients, at, le at least Lipschitz. Or, yeah. Thank you.